All right, 38 special lead semi wad cutter hollow point, 158 grain buffalo bore, 0% chance of rain, and then it started storming. So thank the uh, Weather Channel app for that, I suppose. Uh, but I'm going to do short barrels versus a longer barrel. So a four inch barrel revolver versus a two inch barrel revolver. Interesting thing about this ammunition is that the FBI load, and that's what a lot of people like to refer to some of this ammo as, as the FBI load, because back in the day, the 158 grain semi wad cutter hollow point, that's what this is, considered the FBI load was a plus P, and Buffalo Board makes that. However, people don't understand that actually Buffalo Board standard pressure version here is actually the, about the same specifications as the old school plus P. So we're at a really warm round with our standard pressure and just going up to a plus P is going up to some crazy amount of power that probably isn't necessarily needed. And that's kind of the point of this video. People are kind of asking for a comparison between the standard pressure and the plus P to see if it's even worth going up to the plus P. So we're going to see what we get with these um, rounds. So I'm going to go through the chronograph, see what kind of velocity and accuracy I get at the same time. Then I'm going to do my 10% clear ballistic test. I'm just going to use the MDF today and not pull it out and do playing uh, clear ballistic shots without it because of the fact that I'm putting four rounds in there from two different barrel lengths. I don't want to intersect rounds and stuff like that. Plus the MDF, you know, represents like hitting ribs or sternum. And that's really what I want to see. I want to see what I'll do through that because that's kind of tough on a bullet, but not too tough. It, it should give us our average like chest hit simulation. Then I'm going to shoot from a little bit of a distance. I'll probably just go up to um, a little bit closer range today and just kind of see what I get with these for follow-up shots because that's going to be kind of what people are wanting to see. So let's get started with this test. All right, I'm about five yards from the target, four yards from the chronograph. First up, I'm going to start with our standard pressure and our four-inch barrel. Then I'm going to try some plus P's and the four-inch barrel and see how those compare. So here's our standard pressure, buffalo bore, 158 grain sum, my wad cutter hollow points. 1,005. 1,021. 1,025, 1,020, 1,001. So pretty consistent there. So now I'm gonna switch on to our plus P's and see what that gives us in our four inch barrel. Plus P, Let's see what we got. 1178, 1182, 1205, 1189. No read on that one, but you know, that's pretty consistent and a good jump up in power. Now let's see how that compares in our snub nose. All right, snub nose, our standard pressure. Let's see what we got. 898. 898. No read. No read. 934. I'll read for some reason. It's probably just the kind of lighting conditions out here. And these are gas checked. That, you know, it's got a copper, basically like a jacket on the back of the bullet, which does reduce the leading a little bit. And I am seeing a reduction versus regular old, you know, lead bullets. So there's our plus P. I feel like I'm going to pull those. So let me try to get one single action if I can. 1055. 1046, 1067, 1073. So those are some pretty powerful rounds through a two inch barrel for a 38 special. So let's start a ballistics gel block. I'm gonna do um, standard pressure, then plus P in the four inch barrel and then repeat it in the two inch barrel. All right, four inch barrel, standard pressure. See what we get. Let's try our plus P now. All right, here's our plus P through our four inch barrel. Let's go take a look. All right, no discernible difference through our MDF here. I kind of stuck this to here so it'd make it easier for me, but what we're looking at here is there's definitely a difference in our penetration. With our standard pressure, we got a penetration of about 13 and a quarter inches. This is totally acceptable. 
With our plus P, the bullet flattened out a little bit more and went to about 17 and a half inches. So that's a good difference between a standard pressure and a plus P there. So let's try our short barrels now. All right, two inch barrel standard pressure. Let's see what this will do. Let's try our plus P now. All right, plus P through our two inch barrel. A lot more recoil. Let's take a look. All right, we're seeing kind of the same thing. You know, with our four inch barrel, we had about a four inch difference in penetration. With our two inch barrel, with our standard pressure, we got a penetration of about 12 inches and with our plus P about 14 and a half inch difference there. So, you know, the recoil is considerably more in our two inch barrel with the plus P versus the standard pressure. And in the four inch barrel, not so much. However, all that being said, it's not like brutal versus light recoil there's just a little bit of a difference there so it looks like both of these are doing quite well so let me shoot a little bit quicker from um, a little bit of distance i think i'm just going to do like 12 yards today because that's really kind of what people want to see and that's starting to really storm out here so let me try that all right i'm about 12 yards from the target i'm just going to do a few rounds and the four inch barrel of the standard and then the plus p and then I'm going to do five rounds of the standard in the plus P in the snub because in the snub there's going to be a little bit more discernible of a difference. Um, so let's see what we get in our four inch barrel standard pressure. All right, so I have a few loose rounds here because I couldn't fit three in my speed loader, right? So here's our plus P. Time, let me get a sight picture and then fire off three rounds, see if they all hit. Yeah. So there's a difference there um, in what I feel, and more so what I hear than what I feel. It's a, it's a very loud round, but it's weird because the, the difference is substantial in our sound and everything, and kind of what I'm seeing with smoke and flash, but not so much in my wrist. I don't really feel any real difference in recoil. So here's our standard pressure, our snub here. That feels about right, that feels pretty good. Now here's our plus P. This is where I'm gonna kinda judge what I think about this. You know, it takes a little bit more time to bring that sight down on this. So honestly, what I'm seeing is I'm not really seeing a huge benefit with the plus P in either barrel length, to be honest, because in the four inch barrel, it did perfectly acceptably well in our ballistic test with the standard pressure. And adding that plus P added a lot of velocity, but it didn't add really anything else. It didn't add anything negative or positive, really. Um, I didn't really notice any extra recoil and what we're seeing in ballistic performance really wasn't that big a deal. Now, with this plus p here with the snub i kind of got lucky by by hitting most of those shots with the plus p but i was struggling i felt a struggle like i'm not gonna land these and i had to take a second more to bring it back down as where the standard pressure was very easy to do and we had perfectly acceptable penetration expansion everything with our with our snub nose barrel there so what i'm going to say is probably if you're looking for a load like this of what you're looking for a classic you know let somebody walk cut or hollow point. Everything exists within the standard pressure version. I'm not really sure what you're gonna get by pushing this uh, plus P a little bit faster because it's not bonded, it's not jacketed and stuff like that. It's gonna splatter against a hard barrier like anything else. And it's not necessarily gonna do a whole lot more. However, if you had to shoot something real big, yeah, that little bit of extra penetration is probably helpful. So that's what you get today with our standard pressure versus our plus P and our lead semi wide cutter hollow point. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.